Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a beauty supply haul. You guys liked the last one that I did, so I recently picked up a couple things, so I want to show you guys what I got. Um, I went to a beauty supply store here on Long Island that I usually go to. I spent about $60 on stuff. I really went in for one thing, but you know how it is in a beauty supply store. It's so packed in there full of like stuff that is easy to get a little you know it's easy to get a little crazy in a beauty supply store so i wanted to show you guys what i got if you see me looking to the left it's because the giants are playing if you see me looking down over here it's because i need to make sure that i am in focus so i have my laptop down there okay so let's look and see what we got first thing i got are two sets of magnet rollers in gray these are two inch size rollers i got two packs of these because i'm not sure i just felt like i didn't know if these if this was gonna be enough mm, i don't know sometimes i need like one extra one or two extra and i always buy not enough so i ended up purchasing Ooh, touchdown oh my god my boys are all the way up this is what i like to see okay focus alex focus okay so these are the two inch magnet rollers. I'm not sure if this, why are they, oh. Are they like really magnetic? Let's see. Why, cause they're supposed to stick, does your hair, is your hair just supposed to stick to it? Why is it called a magnet roller? Am I being dumb? I hope I'm not. Um, But yeah, so I got two inch rollers. I am going to do a rollout set. That video will probably be up next week after this style is done because I just did my hair so I don't want to rewash it just to do another roller set. So yeah, stay tuned because we are going to be using these next week. So I got two packs of those. That cost me, they were $2.99 a piece. Now the next thing I got were some scarves. I got three like bandana scarves. Uh, I got them in... I got them in white, black, I got them in white, black, and pink. And let me show you how big they are. These were a dollar each. And they're just good to have around just in case I want to do a little thing. I'm still trying to learn how to do the whole scarf thing. Maybe if I figure it out, I can do a video on that, on that once I... So yeah, so this is how big the scarf is. So once I figure out how to use this properly, I definitely want to do some type of a haul. I kind of want to have it like up and have like the little tie up here. Like I think that's so cute. So I got white, black, and pink because those are like the safe colors. And all I saw was blue and I was like, oh, like I'm scared to wear blue. And then I saw red and I was like, oh, I'm scared to wear red. So I mean, Come on, like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Do you guys think like that? I think like that. So I was just like, now nah, let me stick to these colors. These are very neutral colors. And yeah, the white's probably going to get like crazy dirty with, especially since me putting all this stuff in my hair. But we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I got three of these. They were a dollar each. The next thing I got was this silk scarf. This was $4.99. This is black and white. Let's open it up. very very silky so yeah it's a black scarf silky scarf and this is perfect let's show you guys how big this is so it's pretty big this I got because I needed a silk scarf and I like the print on it so if I wanted to somehow try to do a thing I could possibly do a thing or if I just wanted to wear it at home just to wrap my hair up after a long day, I can do that as well. I only sleep in silk scarves because it maintains the fro. And as you can see on my channel, I shorty loves a fro. That's all I'm about here, fro's and fro hawks. So, not fro hawks. And like poofs, you know, my hair's like up in a poof, like those are my things. Maybe I should show you guys how to do my fro. I think I'm gonna do that next week too. So yeah, this is a silk scarf. Next thing I picked up are some bobby pins because I literally just bought a pack. No, I didn't just. 
okay I'm, I'm lying a little bit I'm not sure when I bought this pack of bobby pins but it wasn't that long ago and literally I have like two left I don't know where they went I don't even think I used that many bobby pins but I guess I do so this pack is two inch bobby pins for $2.49 and there are 300 in here there's three oh, I just spit there's 300 bobby pins in here 300 probably last me a week now this I bought some control me edge gel I think it's like an off-brand lot of body I feel like I've seen a couple things from them a lot of body I don't know but this was cheap this was four dollars smells a little ew ew it stinks I don't know what's in here coconut and shea oils non-flanking non-greasy non-hardening perfect for sleep okay this is um some edge control i'm not going to talk too much about it because actually the next video i'm doing after this i'm going to compare this edge control with another edge control like a more expensive one a ten dollar one comparing to a four dollar one so i'm not going to talk too much but i got a edge control so i can do that video next thing i got is african shea butter this is um 100 natural shea butter this was five dollars the last time i went to this beauty supply store i went with my cousin and she was raving about this stuff and you can use this on your hair you can use this on your face let's see what it says it is what is it? Oh, treatment for dry skin eczema minor burns pain relief from swelling or an arthritis improves muscle relaxation and stiffness it's a, a sunscreen due to rich uh, content of vitamins e and f it treats dark spots skin discoloration stretch marks wrinkles and blemishes and you can miss uh oh it's good for massages diaper rash and also a hair conditioner and it says it doesn't expire store in a cool place so what I'm gonna be using this for and it kind of smells so that's why I'm not opening it I opened it yesterday and I was like oh kind of stinks a little so I really don't want to smell that right now but I am since I have all this discoloration on my face I'm gonna use it um, mainly for my face and maybe as a treatment for my hair so when I wash my hair I'll throw some in there sack him thank you I'll put some in there as a treatment so yeah I'm excited to try this out I heard good things about it so yeah I got some African shea butter they also have a big one also but I wanted to start out with a small one this was five dollars four ninety nine okay the next thing I got was some coconut oil I'll actually show you guys both of them because they're made from the same thing same place this is softy hair scalp conditioner I wanted to get something that was cheap I was looking around for cheap stuff that could actually benefit me. So I got some argan oil and coconut oil. It's in some type of formula. I think they put extra stuff in here. This one mm, has a, probably a little bit more than I would want in here. I kind of should have just got raw. But the raw stuff is so much more expensive. So we'll see how this does. This is a hair and scalp conditioner. Um, it promotes sm um, smooth, soft, and shiny hair and hair health and this one you can use on your neck and face as well the coconut oil which I can't because it breaks me out but um yeah we'll be using this on my hair see how it works I haven't used argan oil on my hair for a really long time and I needed a new oil so I'm excited to see what this does hopefully it'll strengthen my hair my hair is kind of weak especially on the ends, so that's what I'm trying to you know strengthen my ends of my hair so we'll see how these do I also bought the kinky curly um, original curling custard I live by this stuff it's so good it's really expensive this small bottle is $20 I am going to do a kinky curly uh, video next week so stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe to make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already i am going to use this um uh, with the leave-in conditioner i'm hope i'm going to if i can find it cheaper than i've seen it i'm going to pick up the shampoo and maybe like another kinky curly product that i can use all together to try to either do a fro or some type of style so we'll see how that goes but yeah we'll be using this soon or maybe even for my roller set We'll see if this can hold for my roller set that might work so 
yeah we'll see how this does but yeah i stand by this stuff i think i've called this a couple times so yes yeah, kinky curly curling custard and the last thing that i picked up is uh some shampoo i was all out i do shampoo my hair every time i wash my hair because i use so much product co-washing just doesn't work for me it just leaves up a buildup on top of my hair so i can't co-wash so i do have to wash my hair i probably wash my hair once every week and a half to two weeks depending upon what kind of condition my hair is in i do always wrap it up at night and try to keep you know oil my scalp and make sure that it's hydrated and stuff like that so it can last because i don't want to wash my hair once a week so yeah i try to you know have it hang on to those two weeks but usually my hair is fine but yeah since i do wash uh, my hair every two weeks i wanted to try a different shampoo in my last video that's what i was saying so i picked up the um ogx hydrating tea tree mint shampoo australian tea tree oil milk protein and peppermint oil which adds moisture and strength so i'm really looking for that moisture and strength so that's why i picked this one up and um hydration and balance so we'll see how this one works out i'll let you guys know if i like this but yeah i will be washing my hair and probably i just washed my hair so probably washing it in about a, maybe a week and a half so i'll let you guys know how i like this okay guys so that is my haul i hope you guys enjoyed uh i will be posting everything that i got in the description box again if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe and head over to my blog my lifestyle blog also at xlalex.com where i'd be talking about what well, i'd be talking about let me use proper english where i talk about relationships and lifestyle stuff and fashion and yeah so make sure you subscribe to my website also and i thank you guys so much for tuning in and i will see you guys next time bye